Hello everyone, welcome back to The Binding of Isaac. This is not uh, very good because I'm clipping like a motherfucker. Excuse me a minute. I'm going to turn my volume down a little bit because obviously talking at a normal volume is far too much. Um, not doing a daily right now, but we are randoming, we are looking for Crown of Light, we are playing as Isaac, which is really lucky for me. I just done, just came from the Lilith daily on this, the 15th of December. 2016 and goodness, oh god, I hate this room. <laughs> Help. Um, it was fine except for the fact that we got owned by, <clears throat> uh, spoilers, the first, the second item room was Curse of the Blind. I had fucking, only had um, Curse of the Tower in it, which of course causes a billion troll bombs whenever you get hit, but I didn't know it was Curse of the Blind, so I picked it up in good faith. I'm a bit framey. I honestly might still be rendering a video, so I apologise for that as well. Uh, it's not your computer. It's not you, it's me. I picked up Roid Rage, I didn't re-roll it. Uh, as Isaac, of course, we do get the re-rolls very, very often. Uh, and using them is not... It's not obligatory. Obligatory? It's not mandatory. Like, you don't have to re-roll every item that comes your way. But it, it, I think Roid Rage is good enough, apart from the fact that it is a speed upgrade, which I appreciate. It's also a syringe, which means it's one third of the spun transformation, which is in and of itself uh, a decent upgrade, even towards the end of the game, which is when you usually actually finally get it, if you're going to get it at all. Uh, and also, it means that we can use our reroll on the boss item, which could turn out to be absolute gash. So we're just going to keep wandering around here. Probably not going to go to the shop, because we have no keys, and no money to spend on the shop. Uh, this is bullshit. Just saying. Two fucking monsters on the same tiny room. So I think what we do here is we try and not get hit too much. Uh, we try and wreck one of them. Now, I don't know which one's which. We try and uh, make sure one of them goes away so that we don't have to deal with one monster on the tiny fucking room. This is BS. How the heck do you do this? Especially when you don't have quite such a good DPS. And those large shots will do a full heart damage so we I think we did okay on that. All things considered, there is actually our second um, second syringe, so we're well on the way to spun. We only need one more, and if we got that at this early stage of the game, we're going to be, you know, sitting pretty, as they do say. We're going to pick up this <coughs> spirit heart. We didn't use our reroll. Uh, we didn't get an opportunity to. I'm not going to go looking around the rest of the floor just on the minor off chance that there's an item pedestal at random. That doesn't happen. We're going to move on. We're going to use. Probably not going to spend our spirit heart immediately on the curse room. We will go to that curse room. Having a battery as well also makes me very tempted to reroll lots of things. But now that we're on the second floor, we're basically guaranteed a deal with the devil unless we royally screw it up. In fact, here is our boss room, which, being so close, that was very lucky that we didn't get penned in there. Being so close means we should definitely do it straight away. Larry Jr. could be a bit of a, an issue. Our DPS is still not great, although the two syringes that we do have, plus the small rock, I can't complain about it, so it's not like we're... Look, when I say our DPS is not great, I mean that in an absolute sense. You know, great DPS would one-shot Larry Jr. by firing some sort of death touch small rock, you know, chocolate milk charged single tier through every single piece all at once and beating the crap out of it. I don't know if we want Mr. Dolly, we'll see what's in here. Nothing to reroll either. Maybe a pedestal, though, that gives us a guppy action that's re-rollable? No. Uh, honestly, I don't really mind trying these. Tears up. These are rest turn out to be really good. Health down! Health. I mean, we were expecting to spend some HP in there anyway. I think with Mr. Dolly being a tears upgrade as well, it's worth taking. Unfortunately, uh, it so happened that all the HP that Mr. Dolly just gave us was red heart. Which means we can't pick any of them up. I was really, really banking on at least one of them being not a red heart. You know, you can't win them all, as they do say. We don't have a bomb to get this bomb. And we might as well take the safety cap. We don't have a key either to get into the item room. This is, um, obviously a little bit tricky. So what we do... The trouble with this, of course, is that we're not actually naturally recharging our D6 either, which means we're not getting as many rerolls as we could in the first place. We're just hoping for a natural key drop like that. I'm not going to use it on the golden chest. I think the number of 
rerolls we have available makes this room a lot more worth it. We do get the gold, the glowing hourglass. I have no idea how to use this. It seems like a great idea. Crack the sky is actually pretty good, but obviously we want to keep a uh, space for our item. We are looking for um, passive upgrades. Not betrayal though. Huh. Thanks for uh, thanks for that. You joker. Not really after that in my life right now. Betrayal is an item which is basically on my do not take list, because as far as I can tell, it's only ever annoying. Uh, that's a. That was probably the correct thing to do would have been to go down there, but I want to actually explore this floor a little bit more and see if we can get some advantages out of it, because I think we made an okay time. That was lucky. Uh, I was going to go to the shop. Luckily, we didn't have a key because I don't have any money. But we could always uh, bomb our donation machine if we wanted to. I was hoping to get another battery charge so that we could reroll Betrayal, but we're not going to take it because I... Much like the glowing hourglass, interestingly, I see no situation in which it is beneficial. If you get hit, it does cause temporary, and I mean very temporary, um... Uh, status effect on the enemies that they will start attacking each other instead of you. It's not really a long enough time on that status effect to make it worth taking the damage in the first place. Plus, if you want to do some damage taking on purpose, like, um, oh, you wanker. Like playing uh, a blood bank, for example, it's, it's going to prop every single time you do it. It's going to make your video take a thousand times longer, even though the actual game time is not counted while it's doing that. It's just highly irritating and I hate it. So we're not going to take Betrayal, even though that was last floor and we're way far away from that now. Um, we're just going to try and get some natural rerolls on here. We have taken Red Heart damage, so I see no reason not to come in here and see what we get. It is a Spirit Heart. Maybe I should have used a full card to get out of there. Honestly, I'm kind of thinking maybe we have a bead on boss rush. I got stuck. Can you see that? Oh, I'm so fast. Can you see this here? Because I could there's a hole there. Man, first mod I make for after birth, after birth Plus, and I shit you not, people say this all the time, I am very tempted to just make a straight up bona fide colour blindness mod. Because, you know, I'm expected to have seen that in that corner. I have a major disadvantage to seeing things like that in that corner. Um, just a, a small increase in contrast would go a long way to assisting me as a. Uh, as a. Uh, uh, handicapped individual in that minor way. And it has the annoying thing where being colorblind in 2016 has not really impacted that much. The Probably the biggest impact you get from uh, colorblindness in 2016 is people saying, what color does this seem to be to you? And then you go, how about you go F yourself? That is probably the most irritating question you could ever ask somebody. But you know, it's irritating. It's not offensive. You get it all the time. And then you try and explain to people how it doesn't really work that way, you know, saying what colour does this look to you means it's like, it's like trying to describe a taste. You know, I, I can't describe to you the colour of this thing, it, it's a colour. Oh, I can't get back in there. That's interesting, I didn't expect that. Uh, I think we do go in here, maybe we buy... I think we do buy a spirit heart, actually, that seems like a good idea. That means we can get into the mob trap room, which means... We can open the chests and get the F out of there. One, two, three. And then bail, which means we end up over here. And then we can continue. I don't know where the item room is, so I think we just explore it a little bit more. Here it is now. Very good. Annoying when you can't get to the position that they all die at once. Hmm. I think I'm going to keep the watch battery here. I'll use my natural rerolls first before I spend any money or bombs on doing that. Because um, I think watch battery just occasionally gives you an extra pip on your charge. Simple as that. Um, maybe we get some actual battery charges. Basically, I don't want to use the reroll room, the reroll machine, until we have no other alternative for that room. Right, this is exactly what we're looking for. A battery charge here, we go back up. Going to spend a little bit longer on here, and maybe we're not even going to make boss rush, which means I'm going to feel a little bit better about having used... Yeah, my good. Uh, having used my full card to stop that mob trap room, which admittedly we're probably strong enough to... Oh, you bad person. Uh, strong enough to beat outright. To trounce, as you will. Um, I wasn't really prepared to. And having a battery charge at that point is actually very excellent. 
because it means that we could re-roll this cube and me if we intended to, um, but there's a very minor chance we get a deal with the devil. Now, would you re-roll a ball of bandages at this stage? I'm thinking maybe I do. There's a lot more advantages we can get out of a boss fight than an orbital, although the orbital will protect us. Um, I think I re-roll it. I think magic cable is really bad. <laughs> it does give us a card, though. The devil. Okay. Maybe not the right thing to do. Most people will probably agree that that wasn't the right thing to do, and you would have been right. Uh, that was not the right thing to do. We do have an arcade. Um, we just need a little bit more protection. Honestly, I, I do like having shot speed. It means that you can actually, you know, hit your target that much more efficiently. Right, you're more, more likely to actually succeed in hitting your target. Play this a couple of times. Hopefully, maybe we get a payout early. Nope. I think we do go to the arcade, actually, because it could have a bed in it. It could have things to explode in it. Seems more likely. There's our HP back. I don't think I want Blasting Cat. Although it could give us free bombs. Still no payout. Uh, again, because we're using exclusively Red Hearts to keep alive right now, I don't really want to mess it up. Could I take a deal with the devil? Because I've just remembered what I'm here for. I, I don't remember. We do want to deal with the angel, of course. To try and get Crown of Light. We do have a reroll. So. Oh, our deal with the devil didn't actually have an item in it. Not one we could pay eight people, so there's still a chance that we have uh, an angel room on this run. Why. Why don't you just lead individual lives and make your own decisions for once? Any red hearts at all will go a long way towards making me feel a little bit better about this particular floor, because that demon judgment could give us a great advantage, given that we don't want to spend our HP on the deal with the devil. Pretty sure, by the way, that if we blow it up, it gives us a better chance of a deal with the angel. So we also want to consider that. Red hearts? Nice. Blank rune. Perthrow. Use. Perthrow. Very well. To get another blank rune. I'm looking for Dagars. Uh, that would be uh, Awas. Close. Engine Us. Mm. Can't really. Can't really complain. We've got much of the sound, right? Just not the functionality. I guess that's what I was going for here. We have our D6. I would like to find the item room sooner rather than later. Because every time we do a big room like this, it's two charges that could re roll us into something great. Not, I think, Crown of Light. Because, of course, Crown of Light is exclusively from Angel Rooms. <laughs> you said but. Oh, you bastard. That wasn't what I wanted to happen at all. Why did that take a full heart away from me? Okay, don't get hit now. Don't walk on those spikes. I know how you are walking onto spikes because you're so fast that you get confused by your own self. I'm stuck in the... I always get stuck on pits. Let's do another run. Look, I have a lot of time in this game, but I'm not actually very good at it. I think what we do is we open this first. Bloody Penny is okay with me. I think we see if we get a natural reroll. See what the boss has for us and come back. Yeah, I uh, definitely got stuck on that pit, which is a blind spot of mine that I. <laughs> it has already happened twice in this very episode. So I wouldn't press it. Uh, yeah, a bit, of a bit of a misplay. Running out of HP was a terrible idea. <laughs> As you might expect. We did get a health down pill. But, I mean, we were expecting to have spent money on uh, helping the deal with the devil anyway until, like, halfway through that run when I realised we're not supposed to be. Ah! You did that thing that I hate it when you do, when you run too far, and I've positioned myself perfectly, and then you override my amazing mad Isaac skills with fucking nonsense. Even this one is about to jump all the way across the screen just to get to me. I can feel it in my toes. Nah, no one a spider. These, are, these early floors should be harder than the later floors. And I, I do love a little bit of a... Um, I don't know. It's, my weak spot is the flooded caves. Because I'm just so bad at them. Telepills. Okay, back to the start. Good to know about telepills. Roth, come hither. Very nice, thank you for that. And keep blowing yourself up, because obviously that is the name of the game. Roth blows up Roth. 
Two bombs are uh, certainly going to help because I do recall a tinted drop was a thing. No money. Kind of hoping for a nickel there. Give us a good chance at the uh, next floor arcadium. Why is everything the opposite of what I want it to be? Not sweating the um, the bad play right now. I don't really play this game as often as I think I should in order to sort of keep the wheels greased. Oh, oh my god. Hello. Help, help, help. Too many spiders. Everyone go away. Reset spiders. Where's the purge spiders button? But, I don't know. Keep making episodes. Keep getting the hang of it. Keep doing streams. One day I will be able to get through <laughs> further than the fucking caves 2 or even 1. Uh, Spirit Heart here. It's going to be through. And again, maybe I just don't make the mistake of re-rolling a cube of meat. Because that's the sort of thing that can get you through some difficult rooms when you are trapped in a closet with Banner White. Um, I don't know who Banner White is. I never understood that song. I don't even like the song. Brilliant. Well done. There's no room to dodge here. Very upsetting. Why aren't I using bombs? Very good question. That basically would have solved all my problems right there. Right there! Uh, let's leave. I don't like it here. No arcade on this floor, which... It's neither a blessing nor a curse. I don't really have any purpose for one. We don't much care about um, the deal with the devil. We're basically going to ignore it straight away. That was very kind of that thing to turn. Oh, we did re-roll Aquarius. That was a misplay. If you're not going to re-roll it, you might as well take it, unless it's betrayal, in which case you should never take it ever. That's all right. Aquarius is not a huge game changer for anybody. But what we're really looking for here is to find the item remain stack because we do have the reroll ready. We don't want to waste any more rooms on not um, actually recharging it. The D6 side. Uh, Prime. I don't appreciate this sort of thing. Can you stop making these fucking troll bombs? Because that's going to happen and I'm going to be sad. Jesus Christ. Well, that was our... Um, did I get the heart? No. I didn't need it. And that's our spirit heart. Probably gone straight away. I'm fairly sure that troll bombs do a full heart damage like that. Which is how I died on the daily. Because I was just making troll bombs all the time by getting hit. Why were you getting hit? Because I was Lilith. Why are you Lilith? The daily didn't get the choice. Oh. I mean, at least these things smash all the pots for me. Not that it gave me any advantage. Can't open the item room. <laughs> so we were going to waste even more potential... Rerolled and recharged this. Doing that <laughs> is very scary because if the enemy doesn't die straight away, you have to have perfect aim. That's key. Oh, sure. It gets to secret rooms. And honestly, I don't think we're going to get too much of an advantage out of the D6 on this floor. So, paralysis. Good to know now, I suppose. Please get the champion. Got the champion. One cent does not really help me in any respect. Please shoot the fire before the fire shoots you. Nope. We're going to have to push this around. Uh, well, I will. Well, I will. Thanks for the troll bombs. Why is my life so fraught with troll bombs this day? I'm going to do this because bombs could be a decent commodity for us right now, although I will do this. Try and get some money out of that thing, which happened. Maybe we come back and re-roll Tammy's head if we don't re-roll anything else. We're not going to re-roll the deal with the devil, of course, because um, the deal with the devil is not going to be taken, irrespective of what it contains. The only way we would ever take a deal with the devil right now is if we found, oh my god, that thing actually bounced in that direction, and then I walked into it. Very good. Uh, if we even get one, because that was red heart damage. Um, the only way we take a deal with the devil right now got the credit card or something like that. Diplopia. To duplicate the items without having to pay for them in Red Hearts anyway. Which could be a great advantage to this, but uh, Diplopia is a shop item, so we'd have to pay for it. We haven't got um, enough money to buy a shop item unless there was a sale on that particular item. Which is not 
really guaranteed or even that likely, I suspect. Now, it's very tempting to... I'm dodging that and nearly walk straight into pin. It's very tempting to do this, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. My, uh, my Isaac looks like Northern Lion right now. Just saying. Steven. Yeah, no deal with the devil, so that was a um, major misplay. We did take Steven. Maybe I shouldn't have. We're going to go slow, because I want to remember how to play the game. Uh, I seem to have forgotten. There's money there as well, so I'm glad I came back. We roll this into Evil Eye, which is actually a pretty nice item. Take that. Take that. Bloody Penny helping out. Thank you. So that's going to be one floor of Deal with the Devil that we're not burning off before we get to an angel room. No tenter drops as well. That tends to be your... You know, th that's your key to success. Tinted drops containing spirit hearts. Curse of the blind, probably slightly worse than uh, Curse of the Unknown at this stage. Not much of a DPS upgrade for us either. I mean, Evil Eye, when it props, basically doubles your fire rate for some time. But uh, hardly the upgrades that we had on the previous run, and yet I capitulated on that completely. So. <laughs> Try be a little bit more careful with your HP this time around. Uh, and not die on the floody caves, which I can't help but notice my nemesis has come to haunt me once again. That was intentional use of keep of meat. So you all can be proud of me right now. Uh, I did it again. Noticing when it is coming around for the swing and then using it. Smart place. I want to kind of get rid of this Joker over here before it uses any more of these factors. But it keeps running away. It's a coward. Cowardly popcorn. That's what they're called. Don't quote me or indeed question me. Man, I hate these things with their HP and their explodey. Okay, good. Let's go in here. This is a standard secret room. I mean, we save a lot of bombs on not finding secrets. Oh, I'm not paying to get secret rooms. Which means I can afford to spend them right here. Right here, and also, let's get those. Could skip us a room or two as well. One pill. Tears up, though. Tears up. Pill. And we have found our boss room, which is unexpected. But the super secret room is not here, so I do now wonder where it could be. Uh, I think we find our item room first. We have enough... Um, enough of the wasp names the key things that we need to get into it. Pretty difficult to shoot these things, especially when they're champions, without being so close that they explode on you. Ah, that will actually help. Since I didn't find a tinter drop so far. I'm wondering where the item room could be. The hermit will take a shot, by the way. Which means we could go into this curse room. There is one. Nice. Uh, we go into the curse room and teleport out into the shop. If we can get enough money to make that play actually doubly worthwhile, then we definitely want to do so. No. Yet to get stuck on a silly um, pit or something like that, so I feel like I'm still doing okay here. I've basically capitulated on two perfectly decent runs today, one of which I didn't record because it was a daily and that's sort of my pre-recording practice type run. Uh, in which I could fly and had decent damage, uh, except Lilith... Oh, oh, such bad damage. Lilith's um, disadvantage of course is you can't actually hit anything, no matter how hard you try. I lost a lot of HP as Lilith against the Haunt, and the Haunt is actually surprisingly difficult to deal with as Lilith because the little haunts are AI AI'd based on you. Oh well, that's okay. They're AI'd based on you. You buy this. I don't know what that is. I'm not going to use it. Uh, whereas Lilith's, you know, shots come from behind you, so you, it's pretty difficult to get one to do what you want while the other one is like also in sync. I discovered how difficult it was. Pretty freaking difficult, that's how difficult it was. 
Just use your cube of meat to protect you from the bogeys. Maybe don't use your cube of meat to do too much damage here until it's finished with the brimstone ship. But I think I'm okay shooting this right now. Shoot through the cube of meat and avoid the shotgun. Uh, and we get to deal with this devil! This is the screw, which is decent. Uh, and we don't take any of it because we want angel runs and then we leave. Very slow. 11 minutes at the end of the first catacomb. This is not flooded cave. This is cave 2. Should be okay. Um, pretty slow. But now that we're on a, uh, a floor with some actually beatable enemies, that's pretty nice as well. Uh, curse of the anything? No. No curse of the nothing. Wow. Okay, watch out. I do quite like Ball of Star, actually. I'm happy that I didn't have to decide whether to re-roll it or not, because I forget with an item like Ball of Star, because it's not, you know, it's not an A-tier item, it's not going to go, it's not going to be on anybody's Christmas list, basically. So you might be, cons like, you probably consider re-rolling it because you have the re-rolls. So many re-rolls on this are available as well. Um, but not knowing what it was, of course we weren't going to do that. Ow. Close. Um, we're not going to do that. I hate this room. So very much. <laughs> You're a bad person. Yeah, you, you wouldn't want to, like, you wouldn't necessarily re-roll Ball of Tar. Then, because it's a pretty good item, but then you go, well, I've got these re-rolls, I might as well make use of them. I hate this. Why does this have to be a thing? Probably should just blowed them up, right? Um... But then you can re-roll into something actually that's shit, right? So that's the problem with re-rolling something like the Ball of Tar. But having not known that it was the Ball of Tar, we didn't really get the opportunity to re-roll it, and I'm actually pretty happy with it. Basically, that was a very long way of, you know, talking nonsense, and I walked into Gurdy as I always fucking do. This is a difficult version of Gurdy, because you don't have the room to maneuver in order to use your people meat. Which I shouldn't be doing. It's a very long way of saying, Maybe you don't want to re-roll Ball of Tar all the time. Plenty of HP. No deal, but... I mean, we did deserve one. But at the same time, we had one on the last floor, so... Quite a low chance. I hate this room. This room is one of those rooms where you manage it and you don't know how. Basically, you ignore these things because they don't do anything except for move randomly. I'm also forgetting that we did pick up X-ray specs very early on. Is turning out to be quite decent for us because these rooms could contain some very valuable things. Stud Finder, I care not for. It's so slow. And still yet to find anything I want to actually re roll. What a good idea, a pageant boy. Look. <laughs> That's probably one of those things that you want to re roll. Considering okay? how many re rolls there were on the ground. Picking up Pageant Boy from the boss is not necessarily a good idea, but it just gives us 21 cents, so if you wanted to buy something from the shop, indeed do the re-roll the shop, that is an option too, although this would have done the same, so disregard everything I just said, but I am wrong. Ooh, that was a good shot, I thought it would die before it fired. Uh, bit of a lame excuse, but it is what it is. Here is our item room. Might have to min-max the heck out of this. Honestly, I've got a lot of practicing to do still. And practicing using Cuban meat correctly is a bit like practicing using Mom's knife correctly, in that you just have to keep doing it. But knowing its hitbox and your hitbox compared to it, that's the awkward bit. Plus, how are we not doing enough HP, uh, enough DPS to kill a uh, dip? No keys! What the fudge? I can't believe I used the key to get into the shop. See, now I'm thinking about it, that was a misplay, and these are the things that experience teaches you. We should have found something that we want to get out of, like e.g. that boss trap room, not that we get into it. Oh my god, push me. I do not appreciate this. Help. <laughs> you opened up at the same time, which is not a good thing. Uh, like the boss trap room, although we can't get into it, abort it, get into the shop, save a key, 
and save ourselves some time. More money. And a donation machine, but no way of getting keys. With Bloody Penny, we should stand some chance of actually getting some decent value out of this. I'm hoping to get the blood back. Sure, mystery sack is a thing, so we took it. There's a key. I see it. Can we reach it? Yes. Very well. I also see that there is red HP, but we might as well take this. That's pretty good. The uh, blood bank paid out before I got scared of the blood bank. It's taken such a long time. First of all, I'm walking a long way. Second of all, look how far away these battery charges are. Uh, third of all, we're really slow. So walking is long as... Hopefully, we only need one reroll for this. It's not like you can pick up more than one of them and take them both with you. Although that would be nice. It would also be nice if we'd have been able to get into that boss trap room as a result of using the arcade, which we could have done. I'm going to take Tech 2, and you can't judge me, because I like it. And now I know it's a damage downgrade. Don't give me that. I'm going to take it anyway. Um, I'm going to take it because it means I can stand back. Shoot things from a distance, I know where my shots are going, all that sort of jazz. Uh, also, I didn't <laughs> want to walk all this way and get another reroll. Uh, let's do this, though. Yes. Yeah. And then this. And then this. Don't want that. Alright. That shop actually turned out okay. Having a compass means we know what things are available on the next floor, which is the important thing. I, I kind of dismissed the compass a little bit more than I should have, because the thing about the compass is it tells you what there is, not necessarily where it is. It tells you where it is, but not how to get to it. So this is what I like about Tech 2, apart from the fact that it's piercing shots and infinite range. So there's a fly chasing me down and I wasn't paying attention to it. Now our damage is going to suck until we can do something about it. Which is the downside of Tech 2. Tech 2 is very rarely something you really want to take. I kind of like it. Um, I like having technology tiers and I like the sustained nature of it. We did get a uh, spirit heart from that fire, which exploded through no doing of mine. Having these confused is also very valuable. Having these slowed down is also very valuable, so I think we've got a good confluence of events. We can get in here as well. Nice. Uh, not going to do it. Uh, maybe we'll do it. We open it up, get some cash, we fail. Get into the shop. The shop is right next to an item room. I mean, blank card could be good. I think we buy... Uh, we've got enough bombs as well, but I think this is a good idea. No nickel. Well, that's a piss off, isn't it? Ain't that a kick in the head. I also like tech too because your tears keep coming out. So you can keep using them. I don't know if technology one um, has the tear effects of your actual tears. I don't even know if the technology two laser has tear effects of your actual tears. But right now, I'm just happy to be able to do things like that. We'll come back to that. It might be good for us. This could give us some spirit hearts as well. Uh, I don't really want that. That is actually really good for somebody who hates troll bonds. In fact, if we had Curse of the Tower, that would be amazing. In fact, I think I'll take it. I quite like it. Let's put this down here. Some more cash. It basically gives us the money that we just got back, except with a look upgrade attached to it. And still no... Is your key in here? Yes. We'll take that key. Just to expediate this particular process. Bomber Boy is fun in some worlds. I've taken this eternal heart. I was thinking maybe we don't take it because there is a chance that... Oh, there's a key there. Brilliant. There's a chance that we find a demon beggar to whom we want to give HP and therefore we lose our eternal heart. We did so. We do have an algae's room. So we might be able to get the demon beggar to pay out if we do find one. Purely on the invincibility of that, which does last a very long time. No way we're making boss rush. Hopefully quite obviously. Please remember that you have Bomber Boy. <laughs> and don't stand too close to your bumb. Blow this up, but I'm not going to open that golden chest until we know what's in the other item room. Because that's probably a lot more valuable. In, in the general case. I mean, I could get an item out of golden chest and it could be a guppy item. 
for all I know, but I'm not going to bank on that. It's not really a, a good bet. Now we're just trying to find our way to the other item room to find out what's in it. Hopefully without going through so many um Please be only one. Hopefully without going through so many rooms that we basically waste the natural recharge of the six. I keep rubbing my head because I'm a little bit... Uh, I'm basically unsure about my own ability to continue to play this game right now. Please. Right, we haven't really picked up a damage upgrade. The evil eye thing... It's not a damage upgrade, you see what I mean? Uh, it's... DPS upgrade when it props because it causes more tears to be on the screen, but it doesn't upgrade our damage, so Tech 2 is not as strong as it could be, and we haven't actually we haven't received anything that improves Tech 2's damage as far as I can tell. Green. What well, a type of green. Oh yeah, this is the green that shoots you, not the uh, green that shoots around you, so do avoid that. You can see how bad our damage is by how slowly Grease's health bar is going down right now. Uh, and I'm we well up for a reroll machine. That's gonna show up. Do I really need all this money? This is Steps XL, so. You know, probably not. We found the last shop of the game. I'm not doing Hush because I hate it. So, we're not gonna find another shop. We might find, you know, a, a beggar who we want to pay money to. But... Ooh, I thought you were gonna be slow. It's not worth collecting all that money painstakingly. Just to, ooh, yeah, uh, just to you know, <laughs> just have a little bit more money for a demon beggar that could turn, uh, uh, not even a demon beggar, a normal beggar that could turn out to have nothing for us of value. So we've got room bag, for better or for worse, and bomber boy, for better or for worse. It's hard. We've got temperance. Uh, I actually didn't mean to walk into it, but now I'm thinking about it, maybe we could get blood back. Let's just um, oh, get rid of those bastards. That was my eternal heart, I quite agree. Okay, mine. There we go, it did happen. So we, we spent our HP upgrade, which was guaranteed, for a chance at an HP plus speed upgrade, which did work out. So I'm perfectly happy with that. We will open this. Okay, so it's fine. I don't know if it affects some um, technology too, but whatever. Retrovision is just a pain. Don't like it. Just nothing. Doesn't really change the game in any meaningful way. It just makes people turn on their t TV and go, "What has happened to my YouTube bitrate?" But that would involve me watching it. I guess all three people who have that problem will already know what's happened. Even our Cuban meat is not actually giving us too much of an advantage right now. Although our slowing tears are a great advantage, so it's makes a roundabouts in some respect. If you're shooting in the right direction, you might have a chance of hitting the enemy. Did you see that shit? I'm very lucky that I didn't get hit by that. There you go, use it. Uh, we maybe use algae's on this. Fine. Yeah, we use algae's against Gish. When take Dagars the next time we get a curse, because a curse on this floor is not a big deal. We could use algae's to get a payout from the blood bank, which we already got. But we would only have done that if we a hadn't accidentally used our eternal heart in the first place, or b you know didn't have any red hearts left. So I think we just go ahead and try and fight Mom here. Without getting hit too much. I still, even after all this time, I'm pretty bad at the Mom fight. Mostly because I can't seem to get in the right place. I keep getting myself trapped in the corner when the foot comes down. It's super nice. Also, we don't have very good damage, and all these enemies are spawning right now. It seems to take forever to die. I want to use the orbital, you see. I want to get near the foot when it comes down. I should use a bomb, maybe. Or a million. Several bombs. 
You want to be on the right side of the foot when the foot comes down, so that our orbital is in the right place to get down. Without actually getting squished by the foot, which continues to happen to me. Even though I don't deserve this treatment. Where is my deal with the angel? Let's continue. We have got two more opportunities for a deal with the angel, and we could get a joker card which gives us a third. No curse here, although our curse is the curse of the shit DPS. It's kind of the curse of the angel runner, really, because not only did we not get the deals with the devil that we need, we didn't take the deal with the devil that we did get, one of which was a two heart deal and could easily live in Brimstone or something awesome like that. Get out of the way. Too scary. So that's going to be a bomb. Um, so, not only do we have the curse of you know, trying to get angel rooms. We also have the curse of not having picked up any decent items anyway. Even on the boss. I mean, we could have re-rolled... What happens if we re-roll the, uh, the, the Polaroid? Two day guys. Rooms. We just use one of them. We can't hold two. Do this room? No. Don't do this room. We've only got four bombs, so I'm tempted to use them more and more now. Because they will do a lot of damage to Several things. Joker? Two of diamonds. Wouldn't mind a joker card right now. So we have this room. With which I know not what to do. Help. I'm also trying to practice not completely capitulating against these enemies because my standard mode dom or whatever you call it, with these things is to just keep dancing around the room like complete imbecile, and I eventually end up walking into them because. I don't know where they're going to be. But I don't think that's the right thing to do, strangely. A hermit. Doesn't really help. We could abort a room. But there is a room that can be aborted with that, so maybe we go into it. It could give us an item as well, which is actually quite tempting. Great fight is of no value. It's cool to have an item in um, Afterbirth Plus mods which work like Sonic. If you had coins, it would knock them all out of you. If you didn't, you'd die. So it'd be a bit like, um, a bit like greed, uh, the way the keeper works. Except, you know, the actual number of coins that you had was your HP. It's still two hits. Yeah, we have then you can collect loads of actual coins, and you can pick some of them up because they'll jingle around the room. So you only have to get hit. You only have to not get hit twice without picking up some of the coins you've got. Sort of a halfway between the keeper and the lost in terms of ease. And of course, not all of them would drop, and they'd fade out as they rolled around. Her throw. Well, that's interesting. Because if we wanted to, we could possibly manage to re-roll the d6. Want to open this? Don't start opening golden chests because there's enough of a chance that they contain a guppy item. Although apparently they're only ever containing two of fucking diamonds. It's that I want to do it. I want to do it. Oh my Jesus. These very fortunate random shooters are also bullshit. Maybe they do aim at you actually. Yeah. I should look that up. I should know that. That's a thing I should be aware of. Excellent bomb, because I didn't get hit by it. And any bomb I don't get hit by is a bomb by the right. Headless horse is also going to be bombed. Help. <laughs> be slow. It's helping you. More than you could know. That does not help me as much as you might think. But I think we're doing okay. And we can reroll this for sure, because I don't really care. I mean, it's a pretty decent item. Ooh. We roll this. We roll this. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> How hard is it to pick up the last item that I need? Actually, no, I don't want to fight you. So we've got a horse. It's not even the white pony, which is annoying. Is there a reroll? No. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, game. We've got the mitre. That's extremely defensible, but that's not what I'm looking for. This way. I mean, at this stage, we could have the mitre. No, we could have the pony, which would allow us to fly and occasionally basically do crack the sky, which we re-rolled at the start of the last run. That was a terrible dodge, but 
fact that I can't seem to kill these things within three iterations of this, you know, bait and dodge maneuver. We haven't actually got a damage upgrade on our base tiers. At all. Through the entire game. We could have, because there were three things available in that uh, devil room. We have the mitre, which is slightly defensible, I guess. We have a lot of bombs. Very powerful bombs. And uh, several of them, but I mean, a lot is probably pushing it. Probably the trade's descriptions app would have something to say about me calling it a lot of bombs. But if we found a super secret room, that could be advantageous too. We don't even have any advantages like spectral things, for example. So I could hide behind rocks uh, and shoot orthogonally because my other disadvantage is that I can't bank any shots. So anything that shoots you know, directly at me like these things way more likely to hit me. Also, I didn't expect the second Isaac run to go better, even though it's terrible. So, perks. He is okay. Luck up is fine. Tears up is pretty good. Tears up. I might as well take perks. Yeah, I didn't expect this Isaac run to go nearly as well as the previous one, and the previous one fucked up completely. Look at this. I can't kill this thing before it shoots me a million times. Oh my god, I got hit by that bullet. Okay, well, this is going to be a trial and a chore. We have had uh, a DPS upgrade technically because our tears are coming out faster. But I don't think that affects tech, point five, uh, tech 2. It would affect tech point 5, and we have to. But we don't have tech point 5. Does it affect tech point 5? I'm being silent because it's very difficult. <laughs> I'm in essentially tremendous pain. It's just mental pain. Throw down three more bombs to get this gun. Okay, we didn't get hit by the actual initial blast of the bomb. But it did get hit by the fire. Which is all I could really hope for. It's all I ever wanted. Maybe I can make this last long enough for it. Ooh, I actually dodged that. Please explain how. Wow. Oh my god, he did it. Don't get hit. Yeah, I was kind of hoping for a <laughs> deal with the devil. Uh, angel. Well, let's go. We didn't get what we wanted because I played like shit. Uh, also, we didn't really get very many opportunities. And considering that we rerolled twice and still didn't get it. I mean, come on. No, no chaos on this run. We haven't had a... S <laughs> Our damage is still base damage. Our individual tiers has still got the base damage of Isaac's individual tiers. And yet here we are on the cathedral. Even that bomb didn't kill that green, so I don't know what to do. We could use our orbital a lot more, especially now that we've got an Algis rune. It would at least have the opportunity to completely uh, wreck Isaac himself. Yeah, so we'll use this to wreck Isaac. Base. Fuck that. Did you see that shit? This enemy is probably my least favourite enemy in the entire game because of the random damage. I mean, how many lost runs has this thing ended? It's unbelievable. Yeah. To do that, we orbitalise this. Get your fucking orbital in there. Oh, apparently I did contact that. Uh, don't walk into it again then. Idiot. <sighs> I'm going to play a completely different game for the rest of my life. Thanks for watching. This was shit. Um, I apologise for such poor play. But at the same time, you're not playing it. I am. So I don't apologise that much. Thank you for watching and I hope you will join me for the next one. Good day.